guys, welcome back. My name is Nathan, and today I'm going to be doing my 2020 post-deadline NHL playoff predictions. Now, with the 2020 NHL trade deadline over and done with, now is the best time to redo my NHL predictions for this year and to see where each team ends up by April. So, how do I see the playoffs ending up? Which teams do I see being playoff teams this year? And which team do I see winning the Stanley Cup in June? Watch till the end for all my picks and opinions. And of course, hit that subscribe button if you're new. Now, heading into the month of March, the NHL playoff races are at an all-time high. Just in the wildcard races alone in the Western and the Eastern Conference, there's enough chaos to make one prediction video on just those four spots. But today, I'm going to be going through each division, all the wildcards in both conferences to see which teams make the playoffs and what teams have the best chances at the Stanley Cup. But we're going to start out today's video with the Eastern Conference, and we're going to start out with the Atlantic Division. And coming in at my number one spot, the team I predict to win the Atlantic and win the Presence Trophy, I have the Boston Bruins. Now, I see the Bruins finishing up around 114 points, good enough for the most in the NHL. For the Bruins, one of the main reasons they haven't been as good lately is because of shootouts and losing those consistently. But they're a team that I think will do well in the playoffs and will do well in the next couple of months. But coming in at my second spot in the Atlantic, who will face off against the third spot in the playoffs, I'm going to go with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Right now in the Atlantic, it's pretty much just between the Bruins and the Atlantic as the only real teams that want to make the playoffs. The Leafs and the Panthers are kind of just there duking it out, losing as much as possible. But for the Tampa Bay Lightning, I don't see there being much competition. I see them going around 110 points. I'm not sure if they'll get past the Boston Bruins because the Bruins have been as hot as ever as of late. But now the deadline deal of Coleman and Barkley Goodrow, I think they're set to go on a pretty deep playoff run, especially if that goaltending stays consistent. And now going on to the battle of the third spot in the Atlantic between Florida and the Toronto Maple Leafs, and even though there's not much winning going on between there, I'm still going to go with the Maple Leafs finishing at number third, around 97 points, I would say. Now, this is pretty generous, but I see the Maple Leafs, after losing to David freaking Ayers, doing something and actually getting off the schneid and doing something with themselves. But now going into the Metro Division and the teams that I see finishing in the top three and going on to the number one team, this to me is between the Capitals and the Penguins mostly, but I see the Caps taking the edge and winning the division getting the Metro Division with around 109 points to 110. I see them having a pretty good stretch for the rest of couple of months. You have Ilya Kovalchuk, now Brennan Dillon, and they added some depth too. To me, that Washington team will start to find some grooves. The last couple of weeks have not been as good, but for Washington, I see them turning a table and Kovalchuk being a pretty big part of that team. But now getting into my second spot in the Metro, right behind the Washington Capitals, I have the Pittsburgh Penguins. Now to me, the Penguins have been a weird team in the past couple of weeks because I think they're one of the best chance teams to win the Stanley Cup this year, but they're also a team that did not do too much of this deadline. So I see them kind of staying pat, continuing the course, but still being very good. I'm not sure if they'll beat off the Capitals, but I see around 105 point pace for them. And I think that's what they'll get. Now, going on to the third spot in the Metro, and this is a lot harder because you got a lot of different teams facing off for the spot, both in the wild cards and at number third in the Metro. But I see the New York Islanders being able to secure that spot and staying a lot more consistent from here on out. Now, with the addition of Jean-Gabriel Pajot, I see that as a big add for them. And I think that's a reason why they'll be a lot better and a lot more consistent in the next 20 games. Now, going on to the wild card race, and this is where it gets very very interesting because there's going to be a lot of teams facing off. I mean, you have the Buffalo Sabres who are like four points behind the Panthers. Anything is possible at this point. But to me, the first wildcard team that will secure that spot will be the Hurricanes. I see them getting 100 points on the year right on the dot with the additions of Vincent Trocek on the defense, Brady Shea and Semi Vatnin. I see that team as a team that is loading up. Now, personally, I would love if they could get a guy like Robin Leonard, but you add to that defense, which has had some injuries and I think for Carolina 
that'll definitely help them. And now getting onto the team that I think will finish second in the wild card and will get that second spot, I think will tie the Hurricanes in points as well, that being the Philadelphia Flyers. Now, I personally believe in the Flyers a lot, but I still see them slipping a bit in the race. Right now, they're third in the Metro. I see them slipping back a bit. You see the other teams like the Islanders and the Hurricanes adding a bunch of assets. Meanwhile, the Flyers got Nate Thompson and Derek Grant, which is still fine, but I think for the Flyers, they'll do a lot more damage in the playoffs than in the regular season in the next couple of months. But now getting into the Western Conference playoff race, and this is also super fascinating because there's a lot of different ways that this could end up going, but we're going to start with the Central Division and my number one team, that being the St. Louis Blues. Now I see them finishing around 108 points, good for first in the West, and this mostly because I see them being more consistent. They've had get some inconsistency issues over the past month, but now with big wins versus teams like the Wild and now the Dallas Stars, the Blues are on a roll, and I see that continuing in the next couple of months. But now getting to the team right behind them at number two, I have the Colorado Avalanche. I see them finishing at second with 106 points, two points behind the Blues, but still being very, very good. For the Avalanche, they only really added Nemestikov at this deadline. I thought they had a lot more room to do a lot bigger stuff. They could have added a guy like Chris Kreider. I, that kind of puts them back in my opinion because the Central really didn't do that much adding. I think Colorado could have used some more, but in the regular season, heading into April, I see them doing just fine. Now, speaking of doing just fine, I'm now going to go into my third place team, and that being the Dallas Stars. Now, you guys know the Dallas Stars are my first favorite team. I don't see them taking over the Avalanche. I don't see them taking over the St. Louis Blues, though. Even though they were tied first in the Central just a week ago, it's kind of slipped from there. I see the Stars just making the playoffs, doing fine from here on out. They didn't really add anything at this year's deadline, which I think is a pretty big waste, especially in that forward group. I'm not sure how it's going to factor into the playoffs, but the defense and the goaltending should do well heading into April. Now, predicting the Central Division was pretty easy, especially compared to the Pacific Division, where it's just complete chaos right now. It's just insane. But heading on to my number one pick, this is really the easiest one in my opinion, because I think the Vegas Golden Knights will once again win the division and do very well. For the Vegas Golden Knights, pretty much process of elimination, but now with Robin Leonard, I think a secure starter at the very least, Alec Martinez now coming onto that team, I think they'll once again go on a roll and have a pretty solid playoff run. But now going to my number one pick with Vegas with around 102 points to my second place team in the Edmonton Oilers. I see them finishing with about a 99 point pace, not bad whatsoever, and playing pretty well from here on out. With Fana CU and now Tyler Ennis, two big wingers who I think can do a good amount of offensive production, and now with Connor McDavid coming back, I think their March is going to be pretty good, and that April will be very solid for them. And now on to my third team in the Pacific, just behind the Oilers, but not enough to get that second spot, I have the Vancouver Canucks. Now, I see the Canucks making the playoffs right now because of the, some of the deadline acquisitions they made, too. Specifically, Tyler Toffoli, who I think will help them a ton. Even though I don't really see Vancouver doing amazingly in the playoffs, I see that as a team who will continue to win. Hopefully, with Jacob Markstrom out, Thatcher Demko can get some games in and some wins as well, but it really does all depend on goaltending. If he can't keep the load, then I could potentially see Vancouver missing it. But now, getting into my wild card for the Western Conference, and this is where it just gets crazy. I was going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and back and forth on my predictions, just going all over the place, but I officially have them set in stone. For my predictions, my first wild card team, I have the Arizona Coyotes, and at number two, I have the Nashville Predators. I see the Flames and the Winnipeg Jets missing the playoffs. Do not at me, but I see the Coyotes getting in, mostly because I think the status quo will be there. I think the offense will just come up eventually, and now if Darcy Kemper soon come back, I think that's a big reason why they'll be in the playoffs this year. But now we get ourselves set for an epic Eastern Conference Final between the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Pittsburgh Penguins. This is one that I think will be super exciting, not just between the two best teams in the Atlantic and the Metro, because they're both the second place team 
in their respective divisions. But it would just be so much fun to see these two teams face off in the Eastern Conference. And I think these two teams will have it all on the line, of course. With Tampa, they haven't won the cup with their core. But with the Penguins, they want so bad to get that fourth cup for Cindy Crosby and Evgeny Malkin. In the end, even though, again, you guys know I like the Lightning quite a bit, I think the Pittsburgh Penguins will have their way in this series and will go in the Stanley Cup Final to face off against the Western team in five games. But now we can get into the Western Conference Final between the St. Louis Blues and the Vegas Golden Knights with a chance to face off against the Pittsburgh Penguins in the 2020 Stanley Cup Final. And this is a series that, I, again, like I said before, I went back and forth and back and forth. I don't know what to choose, but I'm going to choose the Vegas Golden Knights. There you go. I'm choosing the Golden Knights to face off against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Marc-Andre Fleury versus former team. Yes, Please. Now, I went over that series a little bit fast, so I'm just going to explain it here. To me, the Vegas Golden Knights just have way too many options. Even though I think the St. Louis Blues are the better team, I think the Vegas Golden Knights will have some luck, they'll have some more magic than they did back in 2018, and will best the Blues. I think it'll be in seven games. It won't be an easy one for Vegas whatsoever, but I think Robin Leonard, Marc-Andre Fleury, whoever ends up being, will have a great playoffs. And again, they have options in that way. I think the four groups have been kind of unlucky this season. Once they finally start getting going now in the defense now adding with guys like Alec Martinez who won two Stanley Cups by the way that's a team that I think can do some serious damage and even in the Stanley Cup final too but now with the West and the East out of the way, we can now go into my predictions for the Stanley Cup final between the Western team in the Vegas Golden Knights and the Eastern team in the Pittsburgh Penguins. And there are just way too many variables and stories and just awesomeness going into this one. I would personally be cheering for the Vegas Golden Knights all the way, but to me, these are two teams that will have an absolute blast and will do crazy things in this whole series. I don't see it going seven games. I also don't don't see it going five games. In the end, I think the Pittsburgh Penguins will be the 2020 Stanley Cup champions and will get over the Vegas Golden Knights in six games. Again, as I said before, I'm not a huge fan of the Penguins. I don't even really like them, but I think they're a team that is just overall very amazing. And I think when it comes to the coaching staff, the ownership, the management, everything, I think they've concocted a pretty great team so far that's been motivated to get back to that Stanley Cup final. After the embarrassment that they had getting swept by the Islanders last year. I think this is a team that's going to do some damage in the offense, the defense, and I think the goaltending will also be very scary. I don't know if it'll be Tristan Jari continuing to be amazing or Matt Murray rekindling some of that magic, but I think in the end the Penguins will win over the Vegas Golden Knights to win the 2020 Stanley Cup. But those are my official 2020 Stanley Cup playoff predictions. Of course, with this video, if you guys haven't already, let me know down in the comments down below your thoughts on my predictions, what you agree and disagree with, and who you see winning the 2020 Stanley Cup. Let me know also all your thoughts. And of course, if you guys are just stopping by or haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Share this video with your friends, get the predictions out there as well, and click on this card to watch a full playlist of all of my prediction videos right in one place. My name is Nathan, and I'll see y'all next video or stream. Goodbye.